whoso shall offend one of these little ones, uh, which shall come, uh, which shall believe in me, it were better for him that a stone were hanged upon his neck, that he were thrown in the bed of the sea. Uh, actually, where I'm going, uh, where I'm going, he said the offensive will come ahead. Seven is in verse seven. Go on to because offenses. Let's get this. He said, Woe unto the world because of offenses. For it must needs be that offenses come. Now, this is where a lot of pastors and Christians used to hold on to. So you find a man and a woman getting married. He uh, said, Bible says, uh, offense must come. And so you always deliberately are just offending the woman, offending your wife, or the wife always offending the husband. He uh, said, uh, Matthew chapter 18 said, uh, there must need be offenses. They must need, they will not read the second part, though. They will always be taking the first part. Uh, uh, the scripture say they must so every day offenses, every day offenses, every day offenses. That man needs to check his Christian life. That woman needs to check her Christian life. And we have many have misunderstood scripture. Now look at it. Jesus was saying, Woe unto the world because offenses will come. And it must need that it must come. But look at the clause. The clause is there. But woe to that man, to that woman. By whom the offense is coming. Woe to that man. Woe to that woman. By whom the offense coming. That's why I, I was I was sharing with some platform yesterday because I saw something. And then I was sharing. I want to use my family as an example. I, we were talking about apology. How I, I I make a lot of apology, a lot. I don't there's nothing to be to be. Who is, uh, who is it? That my wife apologized and I apologize too. So it's a dual, a mutual issue. You offend me, you apologize. I offend you, I apologize. But much more than just apologizing every now and then, we must endeavor to avoid offense. The endeavor, 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 endeavor. You know why? The rapture can take place at any time. You want to make sure you don't understand your why. And then you deliberately avoid offense. Yes, you you avoid offense. Not every now and then you cause that woman pain or you cause that man pain. And then you call you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There are some I'm sorry said that look like insults. And the person will not be sorry. It's going. It's going to do it again. Though. It's going to do the same thing again. And then they will come again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Even God, you will do. Am I doing that office? So we're going to pray this morning. We're going to ask the Lord in the name of Jesus. As many oh, where there have been offenses that are yet to be settled, let the Lord begin to work on the heart of the man and begin to work on the heart Muted. of the woman. That those of settled in the name of Jesus. There are many of settled issues in many homes. There are many of settled issues in many homes. There are many of settled issues in many homes. There are many of settled issues. That God we uh, God we are saved because of the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Most High. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, the Lord we err, the Lord we err, the Lord we err, the Lord we err, the Lord we err. Many old, many old, where there are offenses piling up and yet to be set. The Lord we err, the man, the Lord we err, the woman. In the name of Jesus Christ. The men don't. The boy will turn. They will pray all the time. Men don't like to hear that. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. There's no freedom. Men don't like to hear this truth. I don't mean all men. Some men don't like to hear this truth. If anything goes wrong with your home, God will owe that man. The man accountable, not the woman. The woman will suffer too. Yes, if the woman does not repent, she will go to hell. But I'm talking of God now, holding someone accountable in that family is the man. Mm -hmm. I have to 
education yesterday. Yeah, yeah, and then woman, you quote to man, you quote to man, all of those are not, those are them to correct the that the whole is that the man is the head of the home. Anything goes wrong in that home, God will owe that man accountable. That's why the man is to give instruction. That's why the man is to direct and instruct the whole who want to pray. God will help all our men. To hear me God will help all our men to really be head, 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 true head indeed, in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, commit all uh, brothers to Lord into your hands the grace to be the true head that is able to direct the affairs of the family. Father, I pray you grant unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we are praying and asking for your grace and your power. We know you are, we are seeing the flesh, like I say, woe unto that man by whom the offenses come. O Lord, the grace for us to live a life free of offenses. The grace for us to live a life free of of offending ourselves. O oh Lord God, now we pray that you grant unto us in Jesus' name. And whenever this coming, the grant to us, to grant unto us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to pray. We are going back to that verse of scripture. It says, now, woe unto that man by whom the offense coming. To start with, we are going to deal with Satan in our family, bringing offense and bringing all kinds of uh, issues in the family, thereby we're not able to enjoy our union. We're going to pray. That man of iniquity, that man called Lucifer, the Satan, demonic power, agent, personality, every root of offense in our home and family. Let the Lord yank it off our family in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Father, ever we bring our families before your throne this morning, we pray that you will so help us to keep away Satan from our family, that area that is always coming in, bringing it in its ugly hair. We cut them off, Lord, in Jesus' name. The wisdom to live as husband and wife, the wisdom to live without giving space to the devil. Father, we pray, O Lord, that you grant unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. O Lord, help us, we pray. Amen. Many years ago, the GS was interviewed by the British, uh, uh, not in Nigeria, yeah, I think it was a bear in England or something like that, or maybe Nigeria, but not Nigerian journalists or whatever. I, yeah, maybe I can still trace that video. And then they were asking about the relation between him and the wife. I think it should be the, fair, the former wife, the late uh, Mommy Abiodun. Or I don't know whether it's this name, but it's been long, some years ago. And then it was, it was, they were not asking that question that even as close as the tongue to the mouth, that sometimes the mouth will bite the tongue. What he meant, what they were trying to say is the issue of misunderstanding and all of that. And then the GS gave a reply that uh, whether his relationship is more than the tongue and the mouth, something like that. That is. He had grown so much with the wife that this issue, I offend you, offend me, babe, this one, that. And to the point that the level he has, that's what I am telling you. That's what I'm telling you. Look at what scripture say now. I want to read one scripture in Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Look at what scripture say. Verse 27. You know, sometimes some of these things, people will watch movie, And then they hear a pastor will just say, uh, uh, like, uh, like uh, maybe you have had some pastor, they will say, yes, uh, there's no how. You people must always fight. You must always fight and fight and fight. Why must you always fight? Why must you always fight? And then some people marry with that mentality of what their pastor told them. Uh, our pastor said that we must always fight. In fact, uh, the fact that we are from different backgrounds, and there must always be correct, 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 correct. That's not Christianity. That's not what Jesus taught us. Jesus never taught us like that. That will always be quarreling and quarreling and quarreling. If you quarrel at the trumpet stand, Jesus will not say you just got married and then you quarrel. The person will go to hell because there's no emotion here. God will not work with emotion. God will not say because you are coming from different backgrounds, that's why you are quarreling and quarreling and quarreling. Yet there can be misunderstanding. That's true. But look at scripture here. 
in verse 27 of Ephesians, neither give place to the devil. That's it. That's it. That's it. Neither give place. That is, don't give an open door to Satan. Don't give a room to Satan. Don't give room for offensive. Don't give room for this. Don't give room for that. That's it. That's the maturity in Christianity. We want to pray that God will help us. God will help us. We will mm -hmm. not give allowance to Satan in our home. Shall we pray? Yeah. Father and heaven will come before your throne of mercy. You have said it all that we should never give space to the devil. The grace that we will not give space of any form to the devil to come into, to creep into our families, to creep into our homes. Father, I pray you grant unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, go and never one can never be different from one. O Lord, go and never the grace that will ever remain one. As you have said, one plus one is equal to one. Grant unto us, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, we pray that you help us in our homes, in our families, that the devil will not be able to find any space to come in and operate, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at the issue with the O. Look at the issue. John chapter 12, verse 14 and 24. Jesus was speaking, and I will explain that. Except the corn of wheat, very, very, I say unto you, Except the corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, it abideth alone. But if it die, it will get forth much food. Jesus was the one who said, Except, except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and it die, it's going to abide alone. That is, it will not bear food. If you are always speaking offense in everything your wife does or everything your husband does, okay? you will discover you are not going to go onto maturity as a Christian man. Now, anything your husband does as a Christian woman, you pick offense in everything, you are not going to go from that level. That's why the scripture was saying there, except you die, die to what? To sin. Die to what? To all, all sorts of things that can hinder your good. Look at it in Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. We're going to pray. Now, many of the crises and problems you find in many of it's as a result of picking unnecessary offense. The woman has said something, Yes, sometimes she, you know women, naturally, you wonder the way they even talk. Even the one that is hyper sanctified. And then they will just say something. And then later, only why did you speak like that? And then out of emotion, she will just say something and all of that. If you have not understood how to ignore something, if you have not understood how to overlook something, if you have not understood how to jettison something, and then you want to swallow up everything she's saying, uh, you might enjoy yourself as a man too. You might become a disenchanted, disorganized man. But sometimes what do you do? You overlook. And you cannot overlook many times until you are dead to self. Want to pray that the God of heaven will help us to be dead to self. God will help us to be dead to the world. We will not be living our life like all these Nollywood movies, all these mm -hmm. TV world, all these Indian movies, all these things that we and all of that. And then you find the thing is how we live. We are not going to be living our life by what the family is living, but by the scripture, by standard of the Bible. Let's pray. God, we have to, to live our life by hands, by your words. Oh Lord, you said. We should be crucified to Christ. Nevertheless, we live, Father, and ever we come before your throne of mercy. Oh Lord, we pray that you help us and give us the grace, give us the power to be totally crucified. In Jesus' name. Amen. I want to leave Pastor Matthew before God in the name of Jesus Christ. All the concern in his heart. Let the Lord bring to an end all the concern, all the concern, concern, concern maritally, concern in his life, concern in ministry, concern spiritually, concern maritally. Oh, Jesus, have you realized that once the marital aspect is in trouble, is in disarray, and it's not in proper order, it's hampered on every aspect, even ministry is hampered upon. 
We want to pray and say, oh God, in the name of Jesus, the Lord, God in heaven, we bring. Oh, we lift up the servant, oh Lord, into your hand, Pastor Matthew. Oh Lord God, you know, we pray. Bring him and his family before you. Every concern in his heart, concerning his home, concerning his wife, concerning his children. Oh Lord, you never will pray that you arise, oh Lord, and solve, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, we are praying that in the place of Lord, oh Lord, remember mercy, Lord. In the place of Lord, Father, remember mercy, oh Lord. In the place of Lord, Father, remember mercy, oh Lord. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you look down from heaven and set to our pastor, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, look down from heaven, Lord. Father, you answer prayers. Father, go in prayer. Amen. Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. We're going to pray that as many hope that it is financial crisis that is causing the offensive. I, I hope you will know that uh, more often than not, many of the problems that you find in home are due to finance, not even sex. No, it's not even to sex or whatever, or due to uh, intimacy or bond or whatever. No, it's due to basically, basically financial crisis. I am telling you, if a man does not have job, it can be very tiring and frustrating. Of course, our pastors and leaders are here. They can tell. If a man does not have a job, you don't have a stable job, a secure job to take care of the family, it can be very frustrating. And if that man now marry a woman that does not understand, ah, the man is finished. The man can almost come inside. We want to pray, say, Father, as many of our pastors and leaders, financially, they strain in their life. Let God begin to decorate their life with financial buoyancy. Let Amen. God begin to constrain away from their life. Constrain Father, away from their life. From me, our they our bread they bread 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 in your hands. The man is not able to take care of the family due to financial constraint. Father, we pray that you open the window of heaven, pour out a blessing upon your people, that they will be able to arise again and do what you have asked them to do, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father, you have given duty to men to take care of their family. Father in heaven, those men that truly want to take care, but financially they are not able. Father in heaven, we pray that you will help them, O oh Lord. You open heaven, O oh Lord, and bless them, pour out a blessing upon them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, you know, we pray that you visit your people, Lord. Amen. Now, quickly, I want to now pray this prayer. There are those now, they may not be on the platform. Now, the reason for the offense in the home is that they've been expecting children and ch children have not been coming. So the woman is even tired of giving her body to the husband and uh, the husband is also tired. Everyone is just tired. Any little thing like this, they, they just pick offense. They are picking offense, not because they hate each other, but they are picking offense when they remember that what is all this, what is the problem? And then we have been married, no issue and all of that. So uh, in Yoruba, let me put it this way. Ikona, when you are trying to uh, use the pepe eye uh, to, how do I put it? Now, something is paining you, but you are not trying to transfer the aggression on somebody else and all of that. So any small thing like that, you are just angry. Any small thing like that, you are just angry. Like Ikona, all those things. So what to pray right now, as many who are going through a lot and then they've been married, if you know any of them, you can mention them in prayer. I have so many of them in my region here that the God of heaven will show mercy to them and then give them children that the Lord God will open their womb. If the problem is fallopian tube, God will solve the fallopian tube. If the problem is uh, what you call five words, the Lord will remove five words. If the problem is uh, impotency, the Lord will take away all of those. Low span can, the law will stop those problems. Lord, Father, we pray, committing families that are having offenses because of multiplication that has not been able to come. O oh Lord, God, whatsoever it is that is changing this, Father, we pray that you take it away from them, O oh Lord, 
and bless them according to your word. You said there will be no barren in our midst, in our land. Father, and I will pray for our brethren, Brother Benga, Brother Danjuma, and other brothers uh, that have been married for some time and yet has not been able to have their own children. Lord, go and we pray that you visit them, O Lord. Father, visit them, O Lord. Father, visit them, O Lord. Whatsoever the devil has planted, that is this delay. Father, take away, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We are going to pray. Another thing that brings offense in the home is reckless spending, reckless spending of the man or reckless spending of the woman. We are going to pray that we help us. Uh, that's why doing Koshi, one of the things that we usually discuss is the money management in the home. The God of heaven will help all our men and give wisdom on how to manage resources. Shall we pray? Father and ever we bring families that uh, the problem is how they spend into your hand. Father, we pray that wisdom from above to cause them to be prudent in every area. Father, we pray you grant unto them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Father and ever we are praying this morning. It's causing problem in the home. O oh Lord, going on, we pray that you set to them, O oh Lord, that wisdom to know how to spend and how to spend where. Father, we pray you grant unto them, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, go in heaven, help your people, O oh Lord, so that offenses will disappear, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So, Pastor Peter, you take over from me as I take this last one, and then you hand over to Pastor Matthew. Now, we want to pray this last prayer. Another thing bringing offense to some home is unnecessary sicknesses. And then you find the man always spending. You know, uh, in physics, what we call elastic limits. Uh, you get to a point where it's like you have reached your limits. And then before you know, you start complaining. that what is all this? I've used all my salary. I've used all my investment. I've used this woman. I want to get where I want this woman. What is the problem and all of that? And the man, maybe not, not understanding that it's an attack from the pit of air to squander his resources and destroy his resources. And then by the time he's finished spending all the money and all that, the man, the woman will get well. And then they are coming back again to square one. And then again, by that money is coming again, the woman will go into illness and all of Or maybe it's the man. Just like that, they will spend and spend and spend. And then, you know, offense begin to set in. The woman begin to think, are, you, are your family under a curse? Or the man will accuse the woman. And then before, you, I'm telling you reality of life that many are going to. And then before you know it, the woman says, no, come on. Uh, my family cannot be under a curse. I cannot stay with you. And then we'll pack your load and disappear. We want to pray and say as many home that the offense is coming through sickness and all of that. And then they spend and spend and spend. And then when they are finished spending, and then the woman becomes okay. That devil, that bastard, that vagabond will stop in that family. The God of heaven will be in such family in Jesus' name. Over to Pastor Amen. Peter. Uh, let's pray. Let's pray that God will arise and settle everything that brings offenses. The, Jesus Christ, our Lord, said, Woe unto that man, woe unto that thing that bringeth that offense. Like we have prayed, is it financial? Is it hurt? Like uh, Pastor just talked about uh, spending and spending on earth now. And yet, the person is feeling as they will plant this person to burn off my resources. Let's pray that God will settle everything that brings offenses into the family. Oh, oh Lord, 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 Father, all the things that bring offenses in the world. In the name of Jesus. Father, I want you to look Lord. at our yes, I want you to look at our pain. I want Lord. you to look about everything Lord. we are discussing about. You pray by the, the blood of Jesus Christ. You bring offenses Lord. in the family. Offense in the family Lord. Lord of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord. Almighty Father, I pray for the Lord of Jesus Christ. You heal, you take away in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, 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 you take away in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you take away in the name of Jesus Christ. The power in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Now we are still, we are still going to pray. 
on this area. Look at uh, the marriage in Cana of Galilee. What happened in the marriage was that the love has disappeared. So we are going to pray for every family represented in this platform that their first love has disappeared, that God himself will restore back that first love. That first love, you know, remember cast to mind back before you get married. Sometimes, like I remember during our courtship time, I do they said that you should, you should not do this, you should not do that, you should not do this, you should not do but sometimes you find out because of the love, you cannot stay away. I remember then I would go to my wife to be house, my wife now. I will go to the house, we will talk and talk and talk and talk, and she will escort me, I'm going home, we get on the way, I say, oh, you have escorted me too far, let me escort you back. I escort her back, uh, I, uh, she, that, just like that, front and back, front, at the end, we just stay in the middle, say, okay, good night, and we part. I find, sometimes I find out after marriage now, that love is no more there. We are going to pray that every marriage is, that the first love has disappeared. So that God will restore back that first love in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? Every will lift first up and every marriage that their first love has disappeared. Father, in heaven, we pray that you restore back first love. Just in the name of Jesus. Why you are in the cane of Galilee, oh Lord, your Amen. mother, whatever you say they should do, you said you feed those people that the first with water. And Lord God never the food so <laughs> full out. Go on yeah. the feet, oh Lord God, never we pray. Amen. Marriage that the first love has disappeared, that now they are just uh, enduring themselves, no more loving themselves. Father, we pray that you restore that first love back to them, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Be heaven on earth. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, that you make our family through heaven on earth, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Lord, for us to pray alone. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Let's also pray for families that uh, you see what is happening in Nigeria now. You even have small money in the bank. You cannot even spend it. You, I met a man yesterday night as I was coming home. He said he has moved from our area here to Elekbe. It's like uh, it's uh, like four kilometers away looking for cash and he could not find any all these things are causing troubles in the homes i remember uh, last week i was in the car around the uh, to 4 a.m a woman came and knocked at my window and said and prayed and prayed and was begging for cash unfortunately the last 300 i was having i gave to the mechanic boys that worked in my car that uh, the day before. I had no one error to, to give to this woman. I was almost crying. Let's pray that God will touch our finances. Amen. Finances is a big thing in the family. Sometimes uh, you, you want to go home and you look at your hand, nothing. Look at your pocket, nothing. It seems like maybe you should even look for a way to stay away, not to go home. Because when your children come to welcome you, your wife come to welcome you, there's nothing to put before them. Let's pray that God will heal our, our, our finances. God will provide for us, and God will also make way for us to be able to access money. This week we are coming into, we cannot continue like this. Let's pray that the dryness of money, God will settle it, and money will return back to circulation, and we'll be able to have money to do what we want to do, shall we pray? Mighty Father, I pray by the power and the blood Lord Jesus Christ. I will pray, O oh Lord, that you will open heaven for your children, Lord. Father, okay. open heaven for us, O oh Lord, that this crisis that we are facing now, uh, that you will take away, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. This dryness everywhere, Father, in heaven we pray that you take away, O oh Lord. Father, provide for your children, Lord. Father, provide for your children, Lord. Father, provide for your children, Lord. Open heaven so we'll be able to get that which we need to use, 
O Lord, for the family, for the children, and for our wives, O Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Commit this week to the hands of God that God will take charge of what we are going to do, that God will lead and protect us, that God will take care of us. Mighty Father, we put this Father in heaven. We pray, committing this week, O Lord, into your hand. Lord, we are praying, committing all that we are going to do this week into your hand. Father, take charge, O Lord. Guide our step. Protect us. Mm -hmm. Do that which we, we put testimonies in our lips, at the end of this week, oh Lord, in Jesus' name, those of all that are going up and down on, on our work, Father, we pray that your protection will be upon us, to lead and guide us in all our way. Thank you, Lord, for the answer prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Pastor Matthew, you can take over now, sir. Praise the Lord. We are on that mode. You may not believe that courtship can cause problem in the marriage, especially in the kind of our church, whereby uh, you meet a spouse, and then maybe by the time you meet a spouse, the time you able to live together during the courtship, maybe three months, especially if the the woman is not from your church. There are two things that are always happening in the courtship. And then uh, I know mommy is there, uh, Pastor Peter is there, but so your is there. If two of you are not faithful to yourself, that's a challenge after the marriage. There is nothing to let the woman know that a man is fudging. Uh, to the woman, I think sometimes it is easier to know. But nowadays, from my recent experience, uh, when we are talking, I see that even women, they fake it. The man will, the, the woman will say, okay, I'm a fudging. The man will say, okay, I'm a fudging. But two of them, or one of them, sometimes they like one, one another. And then it is maybe during the courtship, the love not grow. Or something happened. You know, uh, after the the man and woman started meeting, there are some things when the love grows, the 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 happiness of sexual relationship. Mm -hmm. Sometimes the, the woman will not open herself. I mean open her mouth. The man will not open her mouth. So it will not be so even during the courtship, you are lying. Some of them they forgive themselves, some of them is like Hey, so you deal this. It may not be after that kind of things. Uh, they may be discussing with friend or the closest friend. Uh, I will not say, oh, I thank God. I when um, the first time me and my wife we met, she was a virgin. The other will not say, ah, she told you she was a virgin. This is it. This is this. This is it. This is lie. And then no be. Virginity is not the problem. The problem is lie between it. Devil is the father of lying. And immediately the lying came between the two. That's the problem. That's the problem. And I've seen a lot of marriages. Uh, I, I had, I've seen one in Kenya. The woman did a lot of things. A lot of things. And then along the line she uh he told the husband that all oh, during my youth i went through this i went through this uh many of us we have been listening or we may not listen to it because of the uh where is she come from but sometimes i i jump on of a song at the calling solar i listen uh what the people what men use him for he will tell you plainly that they use me. They use me. He will tell you a lot of things. She passed through during the youth. But thank God, he was, he was able to confess openly. And if, if you ask him now, he will tell you during this period I did this, during this period I did this. And then thank God the family has children now. 
But many wives, many husbands, they didn't confess it. A lot of the line, family member may not open the secret that, ah, your husband, I know him for this, and, and this is what he does, and he will give him the detail of all. I've seen that. The wife gave the detail, the husband, the husband side gave the detail to, to the spouse, the wife gave to the detail to the, to, the, uh, to the both side. It was after the marriage, they now know through the family member. I've seen another one that the wife opened everything she has done. Every man she has befriend. And she told the husband. The husband just said, okay, that does not mean. After all, we have married. Unfortunately, the woman has no child. And that caused problems. So I, when the frustration came me, it was like, it is what you have done in the past that is causing this. It is what you have done in the past that is causing it. To the extent that the man has to go and marry behind the wife without the knowledge of the wife. You see, you see all those things, the problem continues to grow. So by the time the man go and marry, she didn't tell the wife. And they are not having a problem at home that it's what you have done in the past, all because the woman opened. And then I've seen even our church, they are, they we some people, maybe in our rank, they will advise you that there are some secrets that I know. Say, this is, this is. That if you say it, it will cause problem in at home. You better hide it. I you know what I'm saying? That uh, I've had a lot of things like that. I have been a threat down one, but I've had a lot of things like that. We now call upon the name of the Lord. Yeah, there is forgiveness, there is God. Anything yes. that has happened, many family are passing through that. Many family are passing through How many people do you want to explain to? We call upon the name of the Lord. And I usually, I have a person that is passing through, out of them that is passing through that, I make that a good example of them, that where anything like that is going through, the almighty God we forgive them their sin totally in Jesus' name. Let's Amen. call upon the name of the Lord for all Amen. family during the courtship. Yes, we have seen many people that confess it and it not become a problem at all. Mercy, oh Lord. Lord. Forgiveness. We call upon the name of the Lord by the power and the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Every family that is going through that and is taking their family to the bottom, is taking their family to the extent that the family is about the dream. In their life, Lord. By the power that God has lost everything. Everything that is in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be to that marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Be to that marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Be to that marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. We, we pray for the spirit of forgiveness in the family. It's very hard sometimes because what when, what what you are expecting in yeah. the marriage you didn't get it. It causes a lot of pain. It causes yes. a lot of pain. You believe that this man is fully born again. I don't know. There's nothing fully. There's nothing half. You believe that this man is is born again, but along the line you see little little things, forces that destroy the fire. You will believe that yes, this good man is born again, but along this side you see the weakness. You see a lot of forces destroy the destroy the uh, destroy the fire. But we don't call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, all expectation that is being expected in the marriage, that is not met. God is a God that, that, that feeds the vacuum in the heart of the husband, in the heart of the wife. For all the family that are going through that kind of thing, that by the power that God will come into their midst and fill 
all the gap in Jesus' name. Let's open mm-hmm. our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's open our mouth. Let's call upon all people that that miss all that miss all that that miss expecting in marriage. What they expect in the life of the brother is not what they made. You know, the, uh, you are the this is all your coco. That it's a it's a it's a darkness market. Marriage is a darkness market. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. We are a brother or man met and they buy in the in the in the in that darkness market. And the, 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 what they are expecting in marriage is not what they, they see. Instead oh, no. of getting financially, they are losing financially. Instead of enjoying the bedroom, they are losing the bedroom. Instead of moving together, they are separating together. Let's call them on the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You have only one minute. Please, I want something just came to me. Do you know some husband and wife they cannot hold their hand when they are going on the street? The love between some parent and their children is more is stronger. The only love between some husband and wife is in sexual relationship. <sighs> but when you are looking at the love between husband and husband and the parents and the children, you will see it. And that's why you will see the the, 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 the why we be saying ah oh my many oh. It is because of my children I'm suffer, not because of the husbands. You find it difficult to ask for the for women. And you will say you will see a husband that will be saying, if not because of children, I will have left that woman. The love between the, the parents and children are more stronger. You will find it difficult for husband and wife to be gone on street. Except those people who are their love, love are young. They are some old woman here. They are about ninety something here. You will still see, see them in the church. The man will sleep on the on the on the shoulder of that man. In the church, then you will see some. I've seen some people there and from and even another denomination. I saw them every day. They are passing through my house, and you will see them holding their hand together. But the love there in there now, it's very shaky. I said the love for let me meet you on the bed. That's only love that is mostly upon in between the husband and wife. We call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, all the love that lost in the life of husband and wife, Almighty God is going to restore them together in Jesus' name. Pastor, Amen. you have to for us. I see that you have not left. Hand over for us, sir. In know. Jesus' so, name we pray. Amen. Our Father and our God, we worship and bless your name. Thank you, Lord. For the privilege to come before you yet another time. Thank you, Lord. We adore you for how you have helped us this morning. Thank you, Lord. And the areas you have touched through our leaders. Amen. We pray that the areas that the devil has destroyed in our homes. Father, we pray this morning, you help us build back in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You are the God of all flesh. And the Bible says there's nothing too hard for you to do. Lord, this morning we are praying that all the first love that has vanished, like our pastor says, some in courtship tell lies to themselves. And by that they are now married, they have entered the like prison with one door, no door to escape. Now they are inside, facing the music. Lord God, now we are praying that you settle our people, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. All the foundations that have been destroyed. Father, we are praying, oh Lord, that you help us build back, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Said in your word, that it's not good for a man to be alone. And you made it for Adam. And Lord God, and we also commanded that every man that you have created, you have created their own Eve, that is their own wives. Father in heaven, the area that they're not living together no more, enjoying themselves, but now they're not enjoying themselves. Lord God, you know, this morning we pray that you restore back the love and cause them to enjoy themselves once again, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. All the area that because of finances, that love has vanished from the home. All you know is give me, uh, come touch me, touch me, touch me. I need this. You cannot provide. I need that. You cannot provide. Father, in heaven, we pray, O oh Lord. 
that you open the window of heaven and pour a blessing upon your people. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, that is because of having children that is causing the crisis, Lord God, in heaven we pray that you give them children, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we commit every other family to your hand, no matter what the issues are in the family this morning. Father, settle every one of us, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for the answer prayer, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Let's share grace together because of some good and good today. May the grace yes, of the Lord, of Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, God and the fellowship of the of Holy Spirit, be with us now us and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Holy goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall be the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you. The Thursday meeting will come back to 10 instead of 11. Time has changed again in the United States. So it's okay, coming back. Instead of Thank 11. you. Thank you. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our Father, we thank you for another privilege in your presence. We ask that as we come with our cup, you fill it up. And as we sing now, let our songs, let ourselves arise to your presence as living sacrifice in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. I will lift up my voice to praise the Lord. I will lift up my voice to praise the Lord. My heart has made a choice to praise the Lord. My heart has made a choice. My soul will praise the Lord. I will lift up my voice to praise the Lord. My soul will praise the Lord. I will lift up my voice to praise the Lord. I will lift up my voice to praise the Lord. My heart has made a choice to praise the Lord. My heart has made a choice. My soul will praise the Lord. My voice to praise the Lord. My voice to praise the Lord. My heart has made a choice. My soul will praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord, from whom all blessings flow. From whom all blessings flow. From whom all blessings flow. Praise ye the Lord, from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him forevermore. Hallelujah! Oh yes, from whom all blessings flows. Praise ye the Lord. Praise 
Praise ye the Lord, from whom all blessings flow, from whom all blessings flow, from whom all blessings flow. Praise ye the Lord, from whom all blessings flow, praise Him forevermore. Hallelujah. Oh yes, from whom all blessings flow. Yes, praise ye the Lord, from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him forevermore. Thy word is life, Thy word is spirit. Write Your word, O Lord, on the table of my heart. Thy word is life, Thy word is spirit. Write Your word, O Lord, on the table of my heart, thy word. Oh yes, write your word, O oh Lord. Thy word is life, thy word is spirit. Write your word, O oh Lord. On the table of my heart, thy word is life, thy word is spirit. Write your word, O Lord, on the table of my heart, thy word is life, thy word is spirit. Write your word, O Lord, on the table of my heart, thy word. Write your word, O Lord, on the table of my heart. Thy word is life, thy word is spirit. Write your word, O Lord, on the table of my heart. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and he gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Victory, 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 hallelujah. Jesus conquered the world and gave us victory. Victory, victory, hallelujah. Victory, hallelujah. Lift up Jesus, he is King of Kings. Lift up Jesus. He is Lord of Lords, lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Lift him up, he is King of Kings. Hallelujah. Lift him up, he is Lord of Lords. Lift him up, he's King of Kings, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Lift up Jesus, he is King of Kings. Lift up Jesus, he is Lord of Lords. Lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, hallelujah. Lift him up, King of Kings. Lift up Jesus, 
Lord of Lords, lift up Jesus. He is King of Kings, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. I am rejoicing that Jesus conquered the world. Oh, I am rejoicing. I am rejoicing. I am rejoicing that Jesus conquered the world. Oh, I am rejoicing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He conquered. I am rejoicing. Oh, yes. I'm rejoicing that Jesus conquered the world. Oh, I am rejoicing. Praise the Lord. I am rejoicing that Jesus conquered Satan. I am rejoicing. I am rejoicing. I am rejoicing that Jesus conquered Satan. Oh, I am rejoicing. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, I am rejoicing. Oh, yes. Oh, I am rejoicing. Praise the Lord. Dare to be a Daniel. Dare to stand alone. Dare to have a purpose firm. Dare to make it known. Dare to be a Daniel. Oh, yes, dare to stand alone. Dare to have a purpose firm. Dare to make it known. Dare to be a Daniel. Dare to stand alone. Dare to have a purpose firm. Dare to make it known. Dare to be a Daniel. Oh, yes, dare to stand alone. Dare to have a purpose firm. And dare to make it known. God is able, abundantly able, to deliver and to save. He is able, abundantly able, to deliver those who trust in Him, trust in Him. He's able. Amen. You are all welcome to this Bible study in Jesus' name. Please take note, no clapping of hands when we are calling the visitors to stand up. Uh, today, we want to welcome you, if you, today is your first time of coming to Bagada headquarters, our international headquarters, to worship with us. Cardinally, identify your hands by raising it up. Raise up your hand if you are coming here for the first time to worship with us. Can I see your hand? 
Can you please stand up if you are coming to worship with us for the first time here in Bagada? You are all welcome in Jesus' name. Our GS is very happy to see you today worshiping with us. And I believe that as God has used him to be a blessing to